Strange Beginnings. I was all dressed up for the downtown party mansion, free and easy, in the height of fashion. A blue tube top and a canary yellow smile was getting lit and feeling fine for a while. The saucer pan blouse caught my eye, and I smiled pretty high. Along the route, I had an old flame distraction, so it was snuffed out in a reaction. Within a yard, your dark lit eyes smell so sweet. I grasped my breath to think of something neat. When I spoke, only cartoon words came. With a raised brow, we both looked at me the same, a little insane. I didn't feel like love, but let's be friends for a while. You might not be the one, but at least we can have a little fun. The convention came to a roar, and as we gagged the night away, she started to snore. In her sleep, she kept talking. She was one of those Jersey girls who couldn't stop walking. Her feet left, but I didn't follow, because on our flight, she left me hollow. It took me four days to recall those cherry chump cheeks, so I dialed, sounding a bit weak. No answer, though I rang twice a day, until the owner, Jorge, picked up and couldn't speak in an English way. Maybe I was wrong, but maybe it was the weed, but I could have sworn you were in need. I didn't feel like love, but let's be friends for a while. You might not be the one, but at least we can have a little fun. Later that day, I saw her in the oddest of places. Folding my bed sheets, I recognized the faces. Between the dryer hum and the laundry load, consciousness couldn't actively goad. I watched you for a little bit, but ran out shyly. Kicking myself, I hid a little too slyly. She steamrolled through and caught my eye. We talked till I stopped spinning and said our goodbyes. This time, sober as lovesick can be, I reached for the number and it sang to me. I didn't feel like a love, but let's be friends for a while. You might not be the one, but at least we can have a little fun.